Contra Costa County has announced an expansion of health care coverage today to residents who are uninsured and undocumented. A survey was put out to the public to find out the barriers they face when it comes to getting coverage. Crown Force Rob Nesbitt reports on the survey's results. The new survey in Contra Costa County showed that undocumented residents have a fear of accessing health care because they worry about being deported. For Contra Costa Health, the new basic health care plan being offered is about making sure residents don't fall through the cracks. Gilbert Salinas is the chief equity officer for the health department and says health insurance equals preventative care. Usually what happens in our community is that people uh, wait till they're really, really sick to come in to see a provider. And by that time, they're inside one of our emergency rooms throughout the county. Premiums for the basic health care plan will be on a sliding scale, but not exceed $20 a month. To qualify, residents must have incomes below 300% of the federal poverty line, making more than 10,000 uninsured and undocumented residents in Contra Costa County eligible. The folks um, that are undocumented um, that live in our county, uh, you know, they, they are taxpayers, they... Um, really are part of our community. They, they are a huge asset to our community in so many ways. Border security and undocumented immigrants have become hot topics of the presidential race between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Contra Costa County Supervisor John Joya was a big part of getting the insurance coverage off the ground and says immigration issues are over-politicized. We are a county, we are a nation of immigrants. 25% of the people who live in Contra Costa County uh, were born outside this country. And, and it is important for all of us to understand that expanded health care is good for all of us. According to Contra Costa Health, uninsured medical bills can reach hundreds of thousands of dollars. The basic health care plan will offer primary care, 24-7 nurse advice, medications and x-rays without the stress of getting an expensive bill in the mail. It makes sense to um, be able to provide as much access as possible. Um, so that folks can be healthy. We want people healthy in our community. Signing up for the basic health care plan can be done over the phone or online. We have the phone number and link on cron4.com. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron4 News.